are. So where are we? All right, we are in River Chase, which is a neighborhood in Fort Mill, South Carolina. Perfect. And so where where is that in Fort Mill? So from Uptown Charlotte, we are about 35, 40 minutes on a good day. Okay. Um, but we are literally two miles from Indian Land and about a mile and a half from Dovey's Bridge Elementary School. And so you have the unique perspective of this is your neighborhood. So yes, it is. Um, how long have you lived here? Um, I lived in River Chase for four and a half years. Okay. So and what made you decide to buy here? We decided to buy here when we were traveling around Fort Mill, mm -hmm. Indian Land, Waxhaw, trying to find a neighborhood. Right. Um, and we stumbled across this neighborhood by accident. Um, we chose this neighborhood because when it was um, it was a smaller community, mm -hmm. so it's about 200. And 25 homes. Okay, so that's a good size. Um, you can actually get to know your neighbors. Yes, <laughs> and you got good sized lots. Builder was Meritage, uh, had a great, you know, uh, great interaction with them. Sure. What type of neighborhood events do y'all do? Uh, a Christmas event where kids could go up to the clubhouse. Um, it was like an ornament decoration. I know they had Santa come in. Um, I know they do a big thing um, for Easter. Uh, there was something they did for Thanksgiving. It was like a, a meal and meal packing thing. Sure. Um, but they've always got they've always got something going on. I know the kickoff of summer, the pool is is a huge, huge sure, event it's a going huge on draw there. and all yeah. that. So that's nice to have a neighborhood that has a pool. Yes. What um, what's the average sales price, square footage, those kind of stats of the neighborhood? So from when I last checked, average sale price of what's what's sold was about four. 400 to 450. Mm -hmm. um, average square footage has been, it's been like mid 3000s. Okay, um, sure. So it's, it's been good. There's a few homes in the neighborhood that do have basements, but they're all walkout. Okay. Because it's very few. I'd say probably maybe seven homes. Um, there are a few ranches in the neighborhood. Uh, most most you're gonna find is about a two-story house. Perfect. What are some of your favorite parts of the neighborhood or what makes this neighborhood unique? Um, River Access. River Access makes it unique. <laughs> That's the name. Um, hence the name. Um, you know, it's, it's a small tight-knit community uh, or neighborhood. Um, you're close enough and far enough from, you know, things to do. Uh, everything's pretty much within, I don't know, 30, 35 minutes. Sure. Um, and it's it's quiet, so you don't feel like you're in, in Fort Mill. You right. still feel detached. Uh, especially, you know, coming in and out of the neighborhood, it still feels a little more rural in sure. the city. And so with the river access, um, can you launch from there or is it you, you can, can walk along? You can do, um, you can launch canoe, kayak. Okay. Uh, there is some walk along. I know there's been talks of clearing out a little bit more. Okay. So there's a little bit more riverfront. Um, but there's a nice pavilion down at the bottom of the river. Uh, you know, it tries to mimic the clubhouse at the top. And um, what is your favorite thing about living here? Or what's kind of the hidden secret about living here or living in this area? My favorite thing is honestly the location. Mm -hmm. um, I'm close enough yet far enough from you know some places like the bigger, more populated areas. Sure. Um, but it's you know for the neighborhood, it's it's still pretty quiet. I mean, you do have you know occasional kids <laughs> out here playing, which which is nice, which is you know, yeah. Because we have a little guy. Yeah. Um, you're in the city, but it still feels like you're you're still you got detached. a little buffer. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Well, I, see, I really appreciate you telling me about it and sharing your knowledge of it, so thank yeah, you. I appreciate it.